What does antebellum mean? Antebellum meaning, what does antebellum mean? Why Lady A changed its name antebellum is a word which has been used in the name of popular country group Lady A, but what does it mean and why has the band changed its name? Antebellum is known for its link to the pre-Civil War era South in the USA. The word is often paired with the era, and references a period in the history of the USA in the late 18th century until the start of the American Civil War in 1861. During the antebellum period, the wealth of the South grew exponentially, largely due to the slave trade which had significant political influence on the government. During this time, the rise of the anti-slavery movement and abolitionists caused civil unrest in the country with the South being greatly in favor of slavery due to the way in which it helped grow their economy. The band, now known as Lady A, however, spoke of how they chose this word for their band name after doing a photo shoot in historical costumes at antebellum houses which spoke of a particular time in history which many would wish to forget. The band released a statement, which reads, as musicians, it reminded us of all the music born in the South that influenced us. But we are regretful and embarrassed to say that we did not take into account the associations that weigh down this word referring to the period of history before the Civil War, which includes slavery. We are deeply sorry for the hurt this has caused and for anyone who has felt unsafe unseen or unvalued. Causing pain was never our heart's intention but it doesn't change the fact that indeed, it did just that. Lady A is the nickname the band's fans have given it for many years so they felt this was a more appropriate new name. The band explained in its statement, posted to Twitter, we've watched and listened more than ever over these last few weeks and our hearts have been stirred with conviction, our eyes opened wide to the injustices and equality and biases black women and men have always faced and continue to face every day. Now, blind spots we didn't even know existed have been revealed. Lady A added, we can make no excuse for our lateness to this realization. What we can do is acknowledge it, turn from it and take action. Lady A is not the first music group or label to change its name in the wake of the Black Lives Matter protests. British record label One Little Indian Records, which has released music by Bjork, Sigur Rós and Paul McCartney changed its name to One Little Independent. It was founded and is managed by punk rock bassist Derek Burkett of former UK punk band Flux of Pink Indians. He wrote in a statement, following the receipt of an eye-opening letter from a crass fan that detailed precisely why the logo and label name are offensive, as well as the violent history of the terminology I felt equally appalled and grateful to them for making me understand what must be changed. He went on to explain that the label had been founded when his friends were inspired by the philosophies of the indigenous people of the Americas, adding, I was naive enough at the time of founding my label to think that the name and logo was reflective of my respect and appreciation of the culture. I recognize now that both contribute to racism and should have been addressed a long, long time ago. Along with his admission, the Grammy Awards, as well as label Republic Records which releases music by singer Ariana Grande, have dropped the use of the word, urban, in their music categories. Tyler, the creator, a Grammy winner, said of the term in January, I don't like that, urban, word, it's just a politically correct way to say the n-word to me. Why can't we just be in pop? In a letter to fans, the band expressed regret for not changing the name sooner writing, our hearts have been stirred with conviction, our eyes opened wide to the injustices and equality and biases black women and men have always faced and continue to face every day, it said. Blind spots we didn't even know existed have been revealed. Musicians Charles Kelly, Hilary Scott and Dave Haywood got the inspiration from the antebellum style, home where they took their first photos, when they first formed in 2006. We were taking pictures outside an antebellum home in Nashville and we were searching for a name, Kelly said, in an interview with the Cheyenne Post last year. We were going to call ourselves something like Springdale, or something but names are so hard to come up with. I was like man that's a beautiful antebellum house, and that's cool maybe there's a haunted ghost or something in there like Lady Antebellum. We all thought it sounded cool, like Southern Rock. With anti-police brutality protests marching across the nation, anti-racist books selling out Confederate statues toppling from their pedestals, and NASCAR banning the Confederate flag from its events were watching a moment of reckoning with our country's history happening right before our eyes. Many people are looking back at our past behavior and current interactions with a more critical eye as we do the necessary and important work of dismantling internalized racism.
This week, the Grammy Award-winning country trio formerly known as Lady Antebellum announced that it will change its name to Lady A, after reflecting on its own complicity. That makes us all reflect on what the term really means.